Welcome back everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place coming at you today in the BMW 330XI. Today we're going to redo a quick review on the BMW 330's iDrive system in this car. Now this is not unique for the 330 of course, this does apply to many of the other BMW products in 2018 here just as I'm sitting in this car. But because I'm in a 330, I'm going to give you some of the examples, I'm going to walk you through some of the features of the iDrive system some of them are very cool i gotta tell you this makes me want to almost upgrade my whole car because of the m drive system or the i drive system in this car of course so we're going to walk through that this is the i drive 6.0 the sixth version and it is vastly improved from previous generations such as the ones that i find in my e60 m5 or even my e70 x5 the model that i have in the x5 is a two, 2009 so this one is even a lot better so let's go through this and walk you through it the controls here of course pretty typical for the BMW products here you've got the back and the options you've got the knobby that can turn but is also it's directional so it allows you to move around that way and navigate you've also got you know the media control you've got some of the media functions the menu of course you want to hit the menu so I'm just giving you a highlight here first as well mp4 and navigation so at the quick drop of a button you're able to toggle into those menus direct because sometimes going through the uh, iDrive controller sometimes takes time so it's nice to have this on a drop of a hat so you hit that or you hit the map and it gives you the map you hit the navigation and now you can start picking out places to go it gives you the full GPS system here so first we'll go into there's a pile of menus here of course in this new system press the button on the iDrive system you go into media you have all your presets you've got your you basically your FM 80 you know all this good stuff the Galaxy S8 Plus USB and of course you can manage all your mobile devices through here as well you can figure that out of course as you go so lots of options for inputs and whatnot auxiliaries Press menu again on the iDrive system. That takes us back out to the main menu. And then we can go into M, my vehicle. And let's come back to that. So first, let's go to communication. Go into there. You can link your phone and utilize your phone remotely and basically connect up here and use your phone through the stereo system in this car. Great feature. Connect new device. So you can link up your iPhone or your Galaxy phone or whatever, you can link it up and basically have that really at the, uh, the end of your lips and not even so much touching the keys. So we'll back out. Now, we've also got navigation. Well, that's pretty typical. Navigation, pretty standard stuff. Everybody knows how to run a GPS by today's standards. So you've got uh, you know a, a pretty nice system that works very well. It's a very crisp, setup of course and so we can go here uh, map views I like this facing north or direction of travel however you want to do it how about perspective look at that that's pretty slick so we can back out of there toggle over and again I'm using the iDrive controller to go left or right and you can go back and look at previous trips, enter new destination, and of course here, we'll go back into map. You can toggle over and make different, different views, interactive map, of course map views, try one more direction or perspective, direction of travel. Now it's overhead, of course, showing you the way you are actually traveling. It's always keeping that arrow in your direction. So let's back out of there. Go back to the menu. Now we go connected drive. So these are some of the other functions, of course. BMW messages. You know, these are service messages and such you can get out of here. BMW assist. If you need roadside assistance, you have all that functionality here as well. You can make that call should there be a problem. You can dial here. It'll get you through. As long as you're subscribed, of course. Back out. Notifications. None, of course. So if, again, if you've got something the computer is trying to tell you or notification, it will link it here and you can find it and it'll tell you. It'll give you the number, go into it. Of course, nothing to mention right now. 
What I really like about this iDrive system is this. Now, of course, you can re review really quickly. You can see my fuel economy has currently been on an average of 10.3 liters per 100 kilometers, which is about 25 miles per gallon, which isn't great, but we've been driving it in sort of a spirited fashion. And the average speed has been 32 kilometers per hour. There's been a lot of idle time here. So we go into that vehicle. Now you have a lot of different options. This is a feature that a lot of you guys would appreciate, the owner's manual. If you lose your owner's manual, you can find it here. Quick reference, pictures, keyword search, you can find all of it here. Animations, you wanna learn more about it, the cruise control, you go in there, gives you a start, gives you a video. So we'll back out of there. Driving information, onboard info. Of course, it'll tell us our average speed and fuel consumption. And we can back out, go back to our trip computer, find more about the more of the same really and of course with that we can tell the kilometers we can see the kilometers how many hours on the trip on the computer basically for total driving time so we'll, we'll back out we'll hit back now we'll back out one more technology in action go into there now you get your sport displays Efficient dynamics, tells you engine running, driver request. So just pretty straightforward, more just graphics. Sport displays, this is nice. Now, as you rev it, you can hear it. Now that shows you in real time, the horsepower output and torque output of the engine. Now that's really good because that's a nice way to monitor what you know how the car is actually performing as a as a whole so we'll back out go up to efficient dynamics now this is where you toggle sport plus sport Vehicle status, we've got the tire monitoring, the flat tire monitoring, you can do a test or reset on that if you have a problem or after you filled up, up with air, if you've lost air for some reason, you go back, back again and again, and then you have driver profiles. Now here is where you can select, if you have multiple drivers using the car, you can set up the driving dynamics depending on the type of driver that you that that you are. You want to go. You want your granny to drive this. You can set this up, and you can change the name, the profile, and edit all of that, and including the seat position, which is slick. You you can change it for you. Now I'm going to go to the racetrack. Okay, well I can change that. That's pretty slick there too. Contents is a main menu. Now you see you've got some other features here. iDrive settings, displays, control display. You can turn the brightness up, of course, and whatnot, instrument panel. You can also modify that. And you can look at the different things that you wanna read, like fuel, fuel average speed, current consumption, average consumption and so on and so forth. Lots of different functionality there. So we'll back out, back out. Now, I drive settings. So again, this is pretty standard stuff, pop-ups. You can get a software update notifications, which I showed you already. There's no notifications, no missed calls or otherwise. You can change the units of measurement, kilometers to miles, for example. You can change that if you like. Horsepower, you want to read it in, in kilowatts and so on and so forth. So we'll back out of there. Touchpad, pretty straightforward stuff. Now what I also like about this is it's touchscreen.
So vehicle settings, actually let's go back. So we, we can activate vehicle settings. And here's a neat function. You've got speed warning. This is great if you're on the Autobahn or you wanna maintain a maximum speed. You can change this. You can have the, the computer or the car warn you when you're exceeding a certain speed. I don't know why this came default at, at 200. The person who utilized the car before me was very frisky, obviously. So I'll change that up. So now it warns you at 150 kilometers per hour. So you can back that out, doors key. You can make changes there, of course. Tailgates and doors lock automatically. See, so you can take that lock after starting to drive, but let's leave that on, why not? Lots of different functionality there. Speed warning, driving mode. Configure sport, now you can change these up. Drivetrain and chassis, you can do them independently. But when you go to Sport Plus, that's why it's not here because it does that all. It's all defaulted to the most aggressive settings. Lighting, interior lighting, exterior lighting, one touch turn signal. Again, it's a classic BMW thing. Gives you one tweak or three tweaks. That's pretty standard. I've had that even on the old E60 has that as well. Pathway lighting, you can change the illumination time on that. And, and a whole other plethora of items that you can find in this thing. Now we'll go back to the main menu, and as you can see, it's all functional through the main iDrive system, uh, through the controller, as well as you can touch screen that, go in direct, driver profiles, pick driver two, cancel, and so on and so forth. Now you can also back out by hitting the and now we're back in the main menu. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. Quick walk through, a quick preview of the iDrive system. I hope it kind of shed some light on it for you here in these new 6.0 version of the iDrive in the BMWs that I happen to be sitting in this, th this 330xi car, of course. But it's a great new fresh system. It's good that they got on board with some of the other, you know, that everybody else is kind of doing the MMIs and the upgraded the touchscreen, everything. So BMW has, has kept suit here. The only thing that isn't great about this car, of course, and this, this whole iDrive system really effectively is the fact that it does not hide away. That display, unfortunately, is always sitting up there like a wart. And I know the Audi version can tuck away. Some of the other brands can hide away as well. I've seen them in, in some of the Chevy products and some of the other cars out there. You can actually hide that display. So I'd love to see BMW figure that part of it out. Outside of that, it's a great new system, and I hope you liked the video, guys. Make sure you drop me a line. Don't forget to comment, like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Many more great videos. You're going to hear about some of the love-hate videos. Did you see the review on this car? Hey, I've got a review there as well. So make sure you don't miss out on any of that, and I'd love to see you guys. Thanks for coming out, and we'll talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.